Are you ready to turn your business dreams into reality? Do you even need to clarify goals or even have a plan? Decision making. With who? You're a solopreneur, right? What about the risks and challenges? The saying yes, no when to say no, the ups and downs, the learning curves, the pitfalls. And what's the point in measuring your progress? Your finances will tell, right? You will know from your finances. So what are you measuring with your progress? Well, stay tuned and I'll let you know exactly five key reasons on why you need a business plan. Okay? These are five key reasons on why you need a detailed business plan is the key. It's ultimate. It's the roadmap to your success. How to stay focused, attract investors, collaborators, even navigating challenges with confidence. Number one, clarifying your business goals and a vision. For you to have that goal, that vision, we're going to be working from the end, right? So you already have where you want to be. That's what started all of this, right? You already know where you want to be. You just need the process on how to get there. So you work backwards. So this is where you come in when you have that plan. That is why a plan is helpful. Once you write it down, we already know what God says in, in Habakkuk 2, right? Write the vision, make it plain. Someone's going to read it and run with it, right? So we already know we have to write it down. Get it on the inside of us. We share it with somebody. We learn what to do next. We get a coach. We talk to our friends. Whatever it is, we begin to move forward, right? So with that business plan, it's definitely going to help you and help you define clearly because on that plan when you write it down you're going to cross off you're going to add to it you're going to make it longer you're going to shorten it right but it's going to show you visionary it's going to show you that vision on paper and it'll allow you to see the short term and the long term goals so once you write out a plan you can grab components from it that are equal and say hey this is what i'm going to have for my short term this is what my long term looks like right and that clarity will come and just it's going to be easy it's going to be so easy right because now you know what you're working towards and it's going to keep you motivated no more down time and distractions like, I don't know what to do today, so I'm not going to do anything. No more of that. With that plan, you have so much clarity. You have so much clarity and everything is clarified, right? So just think, for instance, when you reach that first milestone on that plan, right? You're going to be like, oh, it feels so good, so refreshing, so motivating. It's going to push you forward right you're gonna be so excited and that's a benefit of having a business plan so number two number two is that um, the business plan will be used you use it as a guide in your decision making right you use it for your informed decisions on what to do next where to go how to plan it it's like myself creating a course hallelujah from when I started first creating courses they were, I, they would get long. Then I would shorten them like this too much. And then I have my premium values. I have my quick courses. So the content that you put in there, you're going to pull and move and be like, okay, I need to do this now. I need to get this out to the public. I need to market this right now. So I'm going to take this part of the business plan. I'm going to take this part of my goals and I'm going to put that out there and I'm going to come back to that and I'm going to add to it. That's how you'll be able to add to and shorten it, right? And it's with your marketing strat strategies, that was an example. You moving forward on what you're going to do, right? On moving forward now with this context, right? What needs to be out there now? You'd be like, hey, I just sent out an email. <laughs> I'm telling you, or I just did a video, or I just did a, a post on social media, and I'm like... If somebody clicks on it, they need somewhere to go, right? They need to fin. I need to finish those steps, right? Because I'm going to tell you guys something. One thing that I do, I create the link because I, I do back office. I build websites. So I create the link <laughs> and then I send it out. And then I'm like, okay, let me go 
put the information in link and that keeps me going. That keeps me moving forward. Why? That lets me know I can't put the pen down. I can't stop. I need to go and finish this task right now because the emails have gone out and someone will click on that link. And I don't want at admin at alwanza.org to be opening it up and be like, the link don't work. The link don't work. The link don't work. That is not, that's not the biz right there, right? So with the strategy that you have in place with your business plan all written down, right? It's, it allows you to expand in your market quickly. You get to detail the market research faster, right? The competitive um, that competitive market out there, you already know like, hey, I just saw somebody with a post that I was thinking about doing, that mean the market is good right now. I need to do this, right? So with those, um, with that plan written already, it's a good guide to strategic marketing, all right? All right, number three. Number three is attracting investors. So with the digital market side, you're doing the collaborations, right? And in those collaborations, you need to have something when they be like, hey, well, what do you have to offer to my audience, right? The collaboration, you are on another person's platform, you're on their podcast, you're in their blog space, you're with their own clients, right? Their customer base who they have grown, right? And you can find these places on Upwork and Fiverr. Play, um, find somewhere and you just pay them and they'll blast out your blog or blast out your links in their um, information, right? In the, On their platforms, right? So when it comes to the um, you're securing these spots, that business plan, that is what you can just submit to them. You already have it written down. You put it up in a nice document, created it in Canva, worked it out on a template in Word, perhaps even on a spreadsheet. It doesn't matter. However you did doc these days, right? Google Docs. So however you created it, you just shoot it to them. It's already done, right? It's easy and efficient. So that business plan already written down from step one allows you to move fast and effectively, right? Efficiently when they ask you for something. So when they ask you for something, you just shoot it to them real quick. This is what I plan on doing. This is what I bring to your audience. This is where we're going. This is where I'm going. This is what they can expect when they follow these links. This is who I am. So I'm not in that order because I was just naming off the, the whim there, but you put it together. It's already said. You send it out to your audience, to their audience, and that's it. When you send that file and that form out, hmm, sit back, cross your legs, and wait for the emails to come in. All right, we made it to number four. So why having a business plan um, is great for identifying potential risks and challenges. Now, this is an area that I'm excited about because for several years now, I've been learning and explaining and expressing and teaching why risks and challenges are great, right? I have birthed books from it. I have written other books about stress and fear from it. Why? Because it is risk and challenges are great. They are good. It's like good credit, bad credit, right? It's like up, down, hot, cold, right? Risk and challenges are good. It's that good stress, right? That when it's um, modified and healthy with knowledge, then of course that business plan is definitely going to enhance and um, make it an easier process, right? So when it comes to identifying potential risks and challenges, I actually have, hey, I actually have a book already. Now this is number seven in the ten part ebook series of my book. All right, so the whole series is called Money Is Mental. Money is mental. And when it comes to making money, which is starting your online digital, your online business, right? When it comes to that, there are some risks and challenges that you're just going to have to face right at the beginning, simply by making a decision on starting, right? So taking that risk, how long? Just do it for a year. Say, I'm just going to do this for a year, put it all in and see how it works. Right? And it's called How to Take Risks and Win. And in it, you can just find... Um, what to do when the money is short, when everything is low, when that fight or flight a hormone kicks in, right? And um, I break it down, I make it, it's very understandable, right? It's the same way 
Um, I speak every single day in these videos, right? But then it just lets you know, do you actually want to take risks? Are you ready, right? And moving on from this one, it goes into number eight, which is um, beating your peers, how to beat your peers. So you get over yourself on taking risks. You are already ahead of your peers, right? And there's a post that I put up just yesterday about the 80-20 principle, right? The 80-20 principle. Just making that decision puts you already ahead of those who have not. So that right there alone lets you know why number, why number four is great in that business plan because it helps in identifying the potential risks and challenges, right? It forces you to think critically, right? You have to apply, do some principles, um, applications. You have to put it to use, right? Just like with your faith. And that's what you'll be doing when you're starting that business and overcoming that fear, right? You're identifying these um, different ways to develop how to remain consistent, right? Because you don't start out that way. You just make that decision and say, hey, I am going to be. And so thus you are, right? And then um, the business plan relies heavily on um, you, if that's how you've written it out, just think about how you are supplying everything to your business and for your business, right? So you don't have, when your back is up against the wall, that's all you have. You don't have anything else. You don't have anywhere else to go, right? So with those risks and challenges, that book, I'll have it down in the description. The series, I'll have it down in the description. Check that out. I'll also have some freebies down there that you can go ahead and grab for yourself that'll help you in establishing your business right from the jump. All right? We have made it. Number five, one hand, <laughs> made it to number to number five, right? Number five, measuring your progress and performance. Do you really need to? Want your dollars tell? Want your, want your bank account reflected? Well, a business plan is very specific. It tells, tells you and shows you the areas in where you are performing and um, your strengths and weaknesses, right? It makes all of your goals measurable and it makes your milestones seeable, right? You're able to see everything and where everything is moving, where it's growing, what lead worked, what conversion rate worked better, You'll get to put together and see, okay, with your analytics, this video is doing good. This one is doing better. Or the people like this story, right? Or this email got a lot of open, right? A lot of opens to it, right? So you'll get to see that and through the um, analytical side of your business, right? You'll get to track your progress. Everything becomes measurable and you can make the necessary adjustments, right? Who doesn't want to um, make adjustments where everything begins to increase. With that being said, is it only in the dollar signs? Yes, but you can, it's not only in the dollar signs, but you can definitely increase those dollar signs. Our dollar signs can always go up. It's just a binary number, zeros and ones, zeros and ones, zeros and ones, right? So if you look at your um, analytics and you look at things and you just be like, man, my conversion rate is this, my leads is this, um, I need to improve in this area, I need to get some, my optimization, right? If your optimization for YouTube is different from your optimization over on TikTok and Instagram. So you, you compare those, you look at those and you'd be like, hey, this is the platform that's doing well, let me focus on this for another six months, go hard at it and then I'll come back to the other platforms right so you're focusing right you your plan will include the different um, timelines and, and strategic steps that you will take towards your end goal okay so hey this process this progress that you'll be making it is measurable it is tangible but it definitely takes time it takes time but um, as long as you know what's going on, you are continuing to learn, willing to learn, then you're unstoppable and your business can only go up, 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 right? All right. So thanks for tuning in. That brings us to the end. And once again, I really enjoy teaching this. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me over on IG as well at I am Al Wanza. So everything digital, you find it here with videos every single day. Love you guys. And until next time, bye.